and welcome to this speed draw of um, this latest drawing that I've done. This is a pastel drawing which I drew about last week, so I'm just recording this now. Um, I apologise in advance, I am a little sick, so my voice may sound a little croaky, but that's that's what you've got. So, um, anyway, I'm starting about three quarters of the way through because my recording file accidentally corrupted, so I don't have it anymore. So what we've missed is we've missed a me drawing the sketch and starting on applying the pastels so I did the sky in like this nice light blue I've done some of the some of the water and some of the blending in the water and I've added highlights on it so that it kind of looks like water rather than just a blue blob um, and then I've also started on the mountain in the background now the the actual picture itself is is inspired by the song Hot Air Balloon by Al City, which I think is probably my favourite song of all time ever. So, <laughs> um, and and it's inspired by that. And the idea of the picture is it's kind of I was also working on the on the sort of vague theme of summer, which yeah I know it's winter here, but um, that was the theme that I was working on. So. I was I was working on that theme and uh, I sort of was thinking about that theme and then this song came on that I was listening to and I was just like it's, it's just too perfect so um so yeah so this is that's 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 how I ended up with this this uh this picture uh, so the the actual picture itself I mean at the moment it's upside down but what it is is it is a picture of two characters who are the kind of personification of me and my boyfriend is essentially what I, I tend to draw us that kind of way quite a lot so it's um it's kind of our personification um Quick FYI, I am sure there are going to be people who will point out that you're using pastels wrong. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're using pastels like that. What are you doing? I have never used... I've used pastels once before as a sort of... Uh, as a, as a kind of like try out and whatever. So I am completely novice at using pastels. And I'm sure I'm using it completely wrong. And... Yeah, I'd not even looked up any tutorials or anything. I'm just sort of having a go and playing with it and seeing whether it works for me. And, like, what you see at the end, I'm actually quite happy with the kind of look that it comes out with. So I'm thinking from this, I might end up actually, like, going away and looking at tutorials and sort of doing some proper actual research into how to use pastels properly because, I mean, I'm just smudging stuff with my hands and <laughs> making it all look pretty and kind of working with that um uh, you'll have just noticed a very quick cut there because i uh the camera i was using to record with kept running out of memory space so every time there's a car it's because i've run out of memory space and i've not realized that it stopped recording because it didn't have like a little beep or something so um yeah, it's infuriating, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so so far what I've done is I have, I started on the background and did a bit of the mountain because I just wanted to kind of see whether I could get the, the style to look how I wanted it to look. And once I sort of put that down, I was quite happy with it. So I then moved on to the hot air balloon. So I thought that was quite a focal point. It was the darkest colours. It's the darkest colours I use pretty much in the entire thing so I wanted to make sure that it was I wanted to lay it down first so that it was it was the thing that is really eye-catching and really sort of pops out um, and is quite quite framing the, of the picture so I pop that in and I'm really happy with the colors actually because if you if you know the song it's uh, there is reference to a, a a reddened navy parachute actually not not a hot air balloon the hot air balloon is maroon but um because that rhymes but it 
it always makes me think of this sort of uh, big navy and red sort of striped uh, hot air balloon and that's not quite what I got here because the colour I preferred the colour of the sort of purpley kind of maroony kind of colour uh, more than the than the navy blue I had so I used that instead but you know I, I'm still really happy with the with the result that came out um, now you can see that I, I've I've fiddled about with the background I wasn't the idea that I had it was kind of I wanted to do sort of a hilly background and in and, and sort of forest out there sort of going up into the mountains a bit and then this beautiful sort of sparkly lake in the middle and with the forest kind of coming round and and going around the forest uh going around the lake it was sort of the sand on the beach um and with a little path coming off it and I mean, my, when I first sort of thought about the picture, I thought that I'd have the forest going all the way around and having a little path coming up and it being fairly blank and empty and everything like that. Uh, but I quickly realised that if I did that, then it wouldn't really make sense because, you know, there's a hot air bloom. Also, it, I kind of got really bored of of drawing all the all the trees and that so I uh, I changed my mind and instead I went with this kind of forest in the background and then underneath um, a, a, a sort of like grassy area but at the moment I'm just filling in as much of the gaps as possible to try and try and make it so that the so that the background looks like there's not any white coming through um <laughs> what i'm actually doing right now is sort of gently muddying the the ground because what i didn't want was i i didn't want the white coming through which at the moment you can still see that quite a lot of the areas there's there's the white coming through it's it's very obviously sort of laying on top of a white background so i figured that if i if I if I blend it, I mean I'm I'm blending using my finger. I've no idea whether that's right or not, but yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of blending. And occasionally I, I wander off to go wash my fingers and clean them. Um, and and yeah, so I I'm, I wanted a kind of not very not a uniform look on the grass. So it's it's slightly sort of patchy, but I I, I put some dark colours, you know some browns some underneath so it's kind of a bit dirt and whatever and I'm, I'm pu popping in some little little flowers so you won't be able to see them from this distance but up close you can see there's lots of little pink and purpley kind of flowers and I chuck in a, a bunch of different colours so it's all good it's all good and here I'm I'm trying to trying to make the the brown basket look better because it kind of looks a bit a bit rubbish at the moment so and I wanted it to look I wanted it to look like it was a woven basket which I quickly discovered was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be I thought you know I could just chuck it cross it left right and it would it would look fine but um turned out wasn't wasn't quite as simple as that so I uh I changed my mind on that one. But um I, I think I think it's come out reasonably well. So moving on to the on to the actual figures, I I did a bit of um a bit of the, the man's hair and which is, is very gold at the moment it's very sort of golden and, and whatever I was trying to see how much detail I could get on with the pastels because again I've, I've very I've used pastels not really to a huge degree so finding out how much detail you can go into I mean they're I'm finding them quite difficult to get like proper proper in-depth detail in so sort of smudging stuff in and 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 just having a play with that and seeing how much how much detail I could get in there um and I, I chose quite dark colors for the figure's clothes because I wanted it to be really I, I really wanted that kind of contrast 
so they they sort of popped out against the background because I mean they are the the focal point of the picture you sort of you can see this this big sort of area behind them but but they're very much there and 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 part of the picture so I wanted to make sure that 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 came across and was evident now um the what yeah what I'm doing here is I'm trying to add some highlights I'm trying to add shadow onto the skin just to give it just to give it a bit more depth to it because I mean I I put a bit of highlights on the on the actual balloon itself but apart from that it's there's not a huge quantity of highlights on the on the actual picture but I think I'm I'm quite happy generally with how it is. Now this hair, oh, I love drawing this hair. I I always love doing this, doing doing. Essentially, it is my hair. I always draw myself in the same way, which is uh, with with short red hair. That's that's uh, shortish. Um, but red curly hair because I've got red curly hair, uh, so it wouldn't make sense to draw myself with red curly hair. Um, and so, so I always draw myself the same, and I just I really enjoy sort of doing the curls because it comes out different every single time, and every single time it's a little different, but it's kind of chaotic, which is what my hair is. My hair is chaotic, so um, yeah, I was pleased with that. Now you can see what I've what I've just done is I have put on the I've put on the black straps to attach the basket on and and suddenly I I think that that is now really evident and and it really pops out and it's it, it's very very much the foreground now it's something that I've really been struggling with recently is putting backgrounds on pieces because a lot of my things I just do a foreground and I don't bother to do the background I just do the foreground and then I, I have it like that and I it's something that I've been really struggling with is to have the confidence to do a background so this piece I wanted to it's one of the reasons why I did it in pastels as well because it, it felt more complete I mean I've got this set of pastels which I've I've had for about a year and I've not really used it and I, I wanted to try something a bit different something a bit out of my comfort zone because I knew that the things such as the backgrounds was is you know it's something a bit different so I, I and that's one of the reasons why I did dealt with the, with the background first because I knew it was something that I'm not massively confident with and I knew I needed to work on so um I did the did, and after doing the foreground, I've actually gone round with the with the brush and I've brushed off the sort of top layer of of pastels to kind of highlight round the edge of all of the of the hot air balloon and the figures, just so that they pop against again a bit more against the background. And so they're yeah, you can you can you can see me brushing away the the top layer of the pastels, but um, and then I filled in a bit more on the on the. Uh, on the on the forest and I'm going around and I'm sort of filling in a bit here and there and I'm just I'm just you know neatening it up adding a few more flowers um, I think these are some sort of darker flowers and I, I should be coming to the end here so um, one of the things that I've not caught on camera is I actually went back and I wasn't happy with the with the bright yellow of of, of the man's hair so because it's supposed to be based off me and my boyfriend and um his hair is not bright yellow his hair is is sort of like a a dusty ginger uh, i think if he was a girl it'd be called strawberry blonde so i've gone back and i've added that and he's actually got a beard as well so i've added his beard um in the final picture so but here it is now and you can you can see that it's yeah, I'm. I'm generally. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So uh, that that's it all. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then 
you know, like and subscribe and comment down below. And if you didn't, well, don't do that. <laughs> and, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.